सी एर वन क्वेश्चन इज एयर ये टू मीटर लॉन्ग लेडर ऑफ मास टेन के सी केप्ट अगेंस्ट ए वॉल एंड दिस वॉल दे हैव गिवेन ए स्मूथ सच दैट इट्स बेस इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टू मीटर अवे फ्रॉम द वॉल वॉल इज स्मूथ ग्राउंड इज रफ रफनेस ऑफ ग्राउंड इज सच दैट इट्स it offers maximum horizontal resistance here they are giving maximum horizontal resistance for sliding half that normal reaction at this point suppose normal reaction is n s to so maximum limiting friction is maximum limiting friction is half of the normal reaction at that point a monkey of mass 20 kg starts climbing from here the ladder how far it can climb along the ladder kitna wo ladder par kya kar sakta hai climb kar sakta hai and another question is how much is the horizontal reaction of the wall is horizontal reaction kya hoga is wall ka suppose this is n value of n we have to find and also we have to find how much it can climb a monkey can climb of 20 kg so see here 10 kg weight will act 10 kg weight of the ladder will act at the center of mass mean at midpoint of the ladder <coughs> suppose this is g so 10 kg mean 10 g will act here this mass will be 10 g 10 g here it will act suppose monkey will climb here this is m monkey monkey has climbed distance x distance from the base the weight of monkey that is 20 g will act Vertically downward at point M. See here, this ladder has a tendency to slide along left hand side direction. So friction force will act towards right hand direction, and for maximum climbing, there will be the maximum limiting force. Friction force is uh, variable, but for maximum climbing, maximum limiting force uh, will act. So suppose this uh, limiting force will act, that will be the F L. So for maximum climbing, maximum limiting force till climbing, maximum limiting force it will be in equilibrium. Above this, if it will uh, monkey will climb, uh, F L cannot adjust. Mean it begins to slide. So for maximum x, take care. The friction force will act maximum value that is F L. C till x displacement of monkey from ground all are in equilibrium. Take care. So for total mechanical equilibrium. नेट फोर्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो टोटल नेट टॉर्क इज इक्वल टू जीरो तो हम क्या कहेंगे बेटा फॉर फॉर मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फ्रिक्शन फोर्स विल हैव मैक्सिमम लिमिट That is F L till that till that ladder is ladder is in equilibrium. In equilibrium mean net force sigma F is equal to zero and sigma torque is equal to zero. So firstly we will see sigma F. So here horizontal we will take separate and vertical we will take separate. So for horizontal forces, 
for horizontal forces only two forces left on ladder normal reaction left hand side and uh, friction force towards right hand side okay towards left and towards for horizontal net mean n minus fl is equal to zero net force is equal to zero that implies n is equal to fl for vertical for vertical forces what happen so net force n dash will upward and tan g 20 g downward here we can say n dash minus tan g minus 20 g is equal to zero it will imply that n dash is equal to 20 plus 10 30 g or we can say g is equal to 10 to 300 newton so 300 newton will be the normal reaction at base so what will be the limiting value limiting friction fl is half of n dash they have given so limiting friction fl is equal to half of n dash so half of 300 so that it will comes 150 newton and this uh, by this equation you can see n is equal to fl so here we can write n is equal to fl is equal to 150 newton so normal reaction of wall upon ladder horizontal normal reaction that is 150 newton so normal reaction of ladder horizontal that is 150 newton see net force we have taken zero net torque is equal to zero so for net torque suppose i have taken this point a total torque about point a so for rotational equilibrium total torque total torque about point each and every point they should be zero i have considered point a about point a is also zero the torque about point a so torque is equal to what force into perpendicular distance the so first n dash force perpendicular distance from a it is zero because that passing through a point so first n dash into zero fl also passing through a to so fl into zero tan g tan g perpendicular distance suppose this is am so tan g this will rotate clockwise if tan g about a if you consider that it will rotate clockwise so clockwise we are taking negative so tan g tan g mean 100 into perpendicular distance am 20 g mean 200 and its perpendicular distance suppose this is a l i have taken so this is 200 into l this is also clockwise rotation 1 2 3 4 4 forces we have taken only one force remaining that is n so n and this will rotate anti-clockwise that's why positive will take in n at perpendicular distance so what will be the perpendicular distance if you will see this will be the <coughs> perpendicular distance <coughs> so this is perpendicular distance so this is equal to ob so n into ob so total torque we have taken by all forces about point a so this total torque summation of torque about point a this is equal to zero so this is zero minus 100 an minus 200 al plus n ob is equal to zero so see here we have to uh, find what will be the an am what will be al what will be the ob see here how we can find this see al am suppose this angle is theta so ab is equal to 2 meter ao is equal to 1.2 so cos theta is equal to what here we can see cos theta in triangle aob in triangle aob 
cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse 1.2 upon 2 so point you will remember to 4 3 za and 4 5 za so cos theta is 3 by 5 what is am am you can see here am is equal to ag ag cos theta and az midpoint of ab g is midpoint so this is 2 meter so ag is 1 meter so 1 into cos theta 3 by 5 so am is 3 by 5 what is al am is 3 by 5 if you want to find al so what will be the al al is equal to what am cos theta this is am x so al is what if you'll find al so al is equal to what am cos theta am cos theta that is am mean x cos theta is 3 by 5 the al also we have find it an sorry am is here the am also we have find it am 100 into am so am al we have find it one is ob so ob is equal to what we can see here right angle triangle AB 2 meter AO 1.2 to OB Pythagoras so that is 2 is square minus 1.2 is square that is 4 minus 1.44 so it will come 2.56 that is 1.6 meter so all AL OB AL sorry AM and OB all distance we have find it so we can note here put all these here in this equation so what happened 100 100 am we have to put 3 by 5 200 al is x into 3 upon 5 n normal reaction we have find it 150 so 150 into ob OB is 1.6 so this we have to solve and we can find X so here we are going to solve this 5 to the so this is 60 5 for the minus 120x this is 240 120x is equal to 180 so x is equal to 180 upon 120 4 3 is a 12 sorry 3 6 2 is a 12 6 3 is a so that is 3 by 2 1.5 meter so it will rise it will move at distance 1.5 meter and normal reaction horizontal reaction is 150 newton so this is a option will be the correct option to so see here for total equilibrium what happen total force net force is equal to zero and total torque about each and every point of this ladder is zero by two here uh -huh, we can find the uh, monkey where it will climb today we are going to discuss one problem a ball of mass 100 gram dropped on the ground from 5 meter bounces repeatedly during every bounce 64% of potential energy is converted into kinetic energy calculate coefficient of restitution and second speed with which ball comes up from ground after third bounce third bounce what will be the speed of ball uh -huh, when it comes up and also average force exerted by ground if uh, impact lasts for 250 second third bounce if impact lasts for 250 uh, millisecond so what will be the force exerted by ground on the ball and average pressure if contact area they have given to so see here in this question this is ball it collide with the inelastic collision because there is loss after collision it bounce back suppose it comes here again it will come and bounce back repeatedly eh, motion is going on suppose in first 
when it will collide with the ground its velocity is u1 and returning back with velocity is v1 i have supposed this velocity is v1 first boss what will be the first initial velocity when it will collide in first ठीक है फर्स्ट में किस वेलोसिटी से ग्राउंड को कोलाइड करेगा तो व्हाट वी नो इनिशियल वेलोसिटी स्टार्टिंग वेलोसिटी इज जीरो एंड हाइट इट कम्स फ्रॉम फाइव मीटर तो वी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एच थीयर कोलिजन वेलोसिटी आई हैव फॉर फर्स्ट कोलिजन आई हैव टेकन एज यू वन तो वॉट एपन U1 square is equal to initial velocity is zero and height is five. V square is equal to U square plus two g h h here five meter. So h is five meter and g is ten. If we're writing here ten, so what happen initial velocity? So five hundred or hundred. This mean ten meter per second. It will collide with the wall in first collision 10 meter per second. What will be the bouncing back velocity? Suppose v1 is the velocity coming up after first bounce. V1 is velocity of ball up after after. First bounce, bounce. To see what is e, they want coefficient of restitution. So coefficient of restitution is what formula e is equal to what v two minus v one divided by u one minus u two. Here v two and u two. First mass is ball. Second mass we have taken ground, and ground is stable, mm -hmm. stationary. So its velocity before collision, after collision zero. Mean u two and v two you have to take zero. So what will be the coefficient of restitution? So zero minus v one upon u one minus zero. That is minus v one upon u one. So coefficient of restitution is what? E is equal to minus v1 upon u1. So firstly, you will find v1. Correct? Every bounce, 64% of potential energy converted into kinetic energy. Here, kinetic energy half. Right once, kinetic energy after collision is equal to 64% potential energy before collision. So kinetic energy after collision half m v1 square is equal to 64 percent potential energy m g h. So that is m g 10 h is 5. M M cancel. So solve it. V1 square is equal to 64 upon 110 into 5 into 2. So that comes sixty-fourth v one is equal to eight meter per second. So this is eight meter per second will be the velocity after first collision. So what will <coughs> be the coefficient of restitution? The so coefficient of restitution coefficient of restitution. E is equal to what I have told v two minus v two and u two is zero. So that is minus v one upon u one. Okay. If you go for the vector notation, downward I have taken positive, so upward it will be negative. So what happen? U one is equal to when we will go for the vector notation. So u one downward. So it is uh, you have to take. Uh, Positive ten meter per second. So upward v one. What you have to take? It will be negative because direction is change after collision. So v one is what 
if we'll go for the vector notation the v1 is minus 8 meter per second so u1 plus 10 v1 minus 8 if we are putting here minus with sign the v1 is minus 8 u1 is plus 10 so <coughs> e comes so this will be the coefficient of restitution to so see <coughs> coefficient of restitution for this motion will be 0 0.8 so see what they are asking is speed with which ball comes up from the ground after third bounce see it. v1 returning velocity is 8 meter per second it will go up and down to see here no energy loss during friction force and others what happen 8 meter per second go and down when it again collide second collision to initial velocity will be 8 same way when it collide and return so it again becomes e times here we can see from this v1 is equal to minus e u1 in every collision it becomes e times and direction minus sign uh, so direction will reverse so see here first collision first collision collision velocity u1 is 10 v1 eh? after collision returning velocity after collision collision bounce back bounce back velocity v1 is kya hoga beta e times matlab 0 0.8 into 10 so that is 8 second collision second collision before collision velocity the same velocity will be here mean u2 becomes because it will go and come down with the same velocity it will collide so this will be the 8 meter per second so after collision v2 so that becomes 8 times and minus sign minus sign indicates that direction will be opposite so here also we can say minus e any u2 is plus 8 so v2 is equal to e times e times mean 0.8 times of 8 it will becomes 0.6.4 meter per second when third collision what happen it returns back 6.4 meter per second after second collision will go up and when it again comes and uh, it wants to collide with the wall with ground so becomes positive mean third u3 is equal to plus 6.4 meter per second so after third bounce what happen after third bounce so again velocity becomes e times mean v3 is equal to e times e times mean minus 0 0.8 into 6.4 that is uh, 5.12 meter per second minus sign indicates that it will go up with velocity minus 5.12 meter per second so what we have seen okay, it will goes up with the second speed with which ball comes up from the ground after third collision it will go up with the speed 5.12 meter per second minus sign indicates that it will go upward what they want what will be the average force exerted by ground if impact last in 250 second to so see here <coughs> firstly what is force force is equal to rate of change of momentum to so change of momentum of ball 
main they have given 100 gram main 100 upon 1000 1 by 10 kg and time they have given <coughs> 250 second millisecond 250 millisecond if you are converting into second the, it will 250 upon 1000 that is 1 by 4 second so mass and time they have given so change in momentum change in momentum of ball but M for third collision to so M V three minus M U three M I have taken common M is one by ten V three is minus five point one two U three is plus to so plus minus minus so it will becomes four 415, 65, 11. 11.52 divided by 10, 1.152. So change in momentum will be 1.152. So what will be the force exerted by ball? Force exerted by ball. By ball. So rate of change of momentum. Mean change in momentum divided by time. So change in momentum, momentum divided by time. So change in momentum one point, this is, this is minus, so minus 1.152 divided by 1 by 4. So it will come, four point. 608 Newton to see here this force exerted by ball so they are asking average force exerted by ground so they become positive the average force exerted by ground exerted by ground ground so this will be the positive the 4.608 Newton the 4.608 Newton is the force exerted by ground on the ball last they have average pressure so what will be the average pressure the average pressure pressure we know <coughs> pressure is equal to force upon area Pressure is equal to force upon contact area. Force area is 0 0.5 cm square mean 10 raised to minus 4 meter square. So it will become uh, 9 point and 10 raised to minus 4 it will come. So it is not Newton per meter square. What would be the pressure, average pressure, contact area, the pressure is equal to force upon area to 9.216 into 10 raised to 4 Newton per meter square. If also they have asked impulse in third collision, so impulse may change in momentum. That is impulse magnitude is 1.152. So we can find each and every things, but remember only one thing. Take after each collision, velocity becomes E times. That's why after third round, velocity becomes 5.12 meter per second. We have find a change in momentum and force exerted by uh, ground on the by ground on the ball. So each and everything we have calculated.